Hello YouTube, it's your boy B3, back with another kicking action figure review. Today we are reviewing the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, The Batman Who Laughs. I actually wasn't going to get this guy, but then McFarlane was like, you know what, we're going to make all the Dark Knight's Metal Batman. And I was like, well if they're going to make all of them, then I'll get them. My thing was, I wasn't going to get any unless they made the Red Death. And I was going to get the Red Death no matter what. But then I wasn't going to get the other ones unless they made all of them. And since they announced all of them, including the Grim Knight, that means I got the Batman Who Laughs. Even though he's an overused villain these days. But, uh, yeah, he apparently was part of a Build-A-Figure Batmobile. Or Collect-To-Build Batmobile. It's only three parts. It's like a little miniature Batmobile. It's not one that you can actually stick a figure in. Uh, but I'm not going to build the Batmobile. I don't really care to get the Nightwing or the Batgirl. Uh, so I'll be selling that Batmobile part on eBay if anyone wants it. eBay link in the description below. So yeah, uh, I like how McFarlane doesn't pose up the figures in action poses in the box. That keeps them from warping, which is really nice. Uh, Everything's clearly displayed. DC Multiverse, Batman Who Laughs, ages 12 up. I uh, got Batman Who Laughs there on the side. Got the cover of his soul suit. That's Jacques art right there. Uh, I love Jacques' work. Ooh. And if you want to get the whole Batmobile, you got to get uh, Nightwing and Batgirl as well. You know, there's a little window here so you can see the Batmobile. Uh, top has a little window bottom has legal stuff. So let's bust um, the Jokerized Batman out of packaging. And here he is out of package, the Batman who laughs. Uh, first up, we're actually going to zoom out though and show accessories and also the, uh, they don't call it a build of figure, they call it a collect to build. But uh, here's the left side of the Batmobile. Doesn't look like it would be a super great adult collectible. I didn't expect the wheels to spin, actually, but once this is put together, it'd probably be really fun. This is the type of thing I'd probably, if I built it, I'd give it away to some... I'd give it away to, like, uh, a nephew or something, if I had nephews. My brother will have kids one day. I'll never have kids, but that's... What am I talking about? Let's move on. Uh, he also comes with two weapons to fight and torture with. Uh, I really like them, actually. I'll probably display them with this one, or maybe both. I don't know. Uh, it all depends on how I'm feeling by the end of the video. But uh, they're really cool. They're detailed very well and painted very well. Uh, all these figures come with a stand that says DC on it, which is very nice. And they all also come with this uh, data card, like a trading card, which is something I haven't seen action figures do in a while. Not since the 90s, so that's pretty interesting. It says the Batman Who Laughs on it. has that Jacques art. Uh, source, the Batman Who Laughs, number one, comics, 2019. Uh, that's not his first appearance, but I guess it's this is... I guess he's based off Jacques. It's Batman Who Laughs. Um, and then it says a bunch of other stuff, like he's from the Dark Multiverse, Earth 22. And I'll, I will... Uh, I will read this to you. Born from the nightmares of the Dark Multiverse, the Batman Who Laughs is a hybrid version of the Batman and the Joker from Earth-22. This twisted version of Batman was created when nanotoxins from the Joker's heart were released into Bruce Wayne's bloodstream, causing the Dark Knight's perfect mind to merge with the warped psyche of the Clown Prince of Crime. He soon became part of an attempt to plunge the entire multiverse into ultra-violence, chaos, and utter darkness. After being initially defeated, the Batman who last managed to survive and remains a threat to the greatest heroes of the multiverse. He's, a uh, fun, fun note, he's Dr. Manhattan now. At the time of recording, this Death Metal 2 just came out, and it's wild. Weird stuff. Overused villain, but he's not a bad villain. So, yeah. The Batman Who Laughs. Let's bring him in for a detail check. Uh, Detail-wise, he actually looks pretty good. You know, he's sculpted well. Got that corset thing going on. Uh, <laughs> he looks like a Dragon Con cosplayer was turned into a comic book character. You guys like Dragon Con? Big Dragon Con fan. Can't go because of Corona, even though I had my Court of Owls cosplay all ready to go. But, uh... He's very cool. All the buckles are painted. All the stitching is painted well. He's got, like, really dirty teeth, which I like. Uh, big red smile. He's got his 
dark multiverse visor. Very cool. Just the whitest of white hands. Really freaky. He's just painted everywhere he needs to be painted, which is nice. You know, I, I like all the scratches and tears on his cloak or whatever. I think it's supposed to be like a straight jacket, actually. Now let's get into articulation. The, the head actually moves more than it looks like it does. It goes up and down, like, extremely well. But side to side is about what you would expect. Because of his big collar, it's basically nothing. So... That kind of stinks. Uh, arms go up and down, forward and back, but they do kind of get pushed out. Uh, so they are hindered a bit by the coat. Uh, you got a bicep swivel, a double elbow bend. You have a rotation on the wrist, forward and back on the wrist, and that can be turned and stuff. In, now, it seems like there is articulation inside of his straight jacket. But because the straight jacket's so stiff and stuff, even though I heated this guy up, uh, you can articulate him, like, see, but it won't stay in place. Like, it just goes back because of the tight jacket. You do have a waist swivel, uh, kind of a rotation like that, in and out on the leg, forward and back on the leg. It doesn't move the best. Uh, could be a bit better on that front. But, uh, yeah, there is a double knee bend as well as side to side, up and down on the foot. No pivot, sadly, but you could turn that joint to make a pivot. And toe articulation. I'd rather just have an inbred pivot, not inbred, than toe articulation. But toe articulation can be extremely useful for some uh, interesting, unique poses. So articulation, not very special at all. Like, he could move much, much better. Like, you could easily hide a joint in that's my sweat. You could easily hide a joint between these or something. They just cared. I mean, this isn't inherently a bad thing. They cared more about detail than they did articulation. There are some lines that focus on articulation, and there are some lines that focus on detail, and this seems to be a line that focuses on detail. So if you're an inbox collector, this guy might be perfect, but out-of-box collectors might have a hard time posing him up a bit. Unfortunate, but true. Caught him. But now we're going to do some size comparisons. First up, here's the Batman Who Laughs with some Mattel figures. Here on the left we have... Uh, I believe this is actually the DC Universe Classics 2-pack Batman. I mean, it's not Universe Classics, but it's the 2-pack version of this Batman. And then on the right we have another 2-pack figure, uh, which I didn't realize until just now. Uh, the Blue Lantern Kyle Rayner, that one is from DC Universe Classics. And he does seem much taller than him. He's more DC Direct scale, but all my DC Directs are in storage, so I don't really have one to show you. I do apologize for that, but uh, I'll show him with some other figures to help you out. Really, my only DC Direct that's not in storage right now is this uh, DC Icons Blue Beetle, since I really love DC Icons and I just wanted to have one out to to play with. Um, and he's, like, dwarfed by the Batman Who Laughs, so that's not going to work out. But you have the Hellbat armor, which is from the same line as the Batman Who Laughs here, the uh, DC Multiverse line. And, uh, yeah. That looks great, actually. That looks really good. Uh, I think it's it's great. So it seems like he scales well with his own line, which, at the end of the day, is all that matters when it comes to scaling. So all in all, what are my final thoughts on the DC Multiverse, The Batman Who Laughs, with the Collect to Build Batmobile part from McFarlane Toys? He's not really the best figure. I mean, his detail and paint are pretty great, and... Uh, he seems to scale well with his own line, which is expected. But the articulation is just really poor. And I knew it would be. Like, just looking at him in the package, you can tell that it's not going to be great. But it's really the only figure of the Batman who laughs on the market. There are a couple statues, but this is really the only Batman who laughs figure. I think they were going to make one in the style of... Batman the Animated Series, correct me if I'm wrong, that might be wrong, but this is really the only faithful action figure of him at the moment, and is it worth the 20 bucks I spent for him? Yeah! Yeah! 
Well, it was 25 with shipping. But, yeah, he's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. For 20, 20 bucks. Um, but that's it. Thank you. Well, he's, uh, they often go for 25 but I got mine for 20 But that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And next time we'll be doing something even scarier than the Batman Who Laughs. The Mezco Nosferatu.